This video may not be appropriate for children of 13 and under. Parental discretion is advised. Hi everyone, my name is Raziel Kane and today I embark on a journey of six reviews because my oldest son got me the Jinbao Oversized Bruticus and it's it's pretty cool. It's amazing. I mean, the individual bot modes, uh, you know, are it's a it's a KO, right? So that's it's a lighter plastic. You know, the, the the figures are not heavy, but they're huge. So today we're gonna start with Onslaught, who's very big, uh, but you know he's not he's not perfect. But I really dig the style of uh, this figure, and I usually go for a very cartoon accurate look, but. When it comes to my combiner, I just want them to be massive, like the Jinbao Devastator right there. You know, he's tall, he's huge, he towers over everything, and that's the look I'm looking for. Um, so that's why I didn't go with the uh, Legacy Menasaur, because I thought it was too small. Uh, so, but the Onslaught here, pretty big bot, the rest of the guys pretty good. So today I'm going to review him, and then each uh, following review is going to be one of the Combaticons. And they're my second favorite combiner. Uh, I I really like the um, the idea of uh, Bruticus and, and all these, uh, except you know Blastoff, who's a shuttle. You know he could have been anything else. You know a jet fighter, whatever. But I guess they wanted to get away from the seeker mode. So we're gonna start with this uh, part one of six and uh, move uh, you know from uh, all the way to Bruticus uh, at the end of this series. Uh, so thanks for coming by. Before I do the first review, I just want to remind everyone to check out my voice acting playlist, the main feature of my channel, something I'm extremely proud of. And also check out my sponsor, DJC Collectibles, a fantastic online store. And at the end of this video, you can get your 10% discount code for anything Transformers. And now let's roll the intro. doing in these crude carcasses uh first the instructions they're terrible the i mean you can follow them they will get you there but you have to look very closely it, it's not the hasbro stuff you know so you have from car or by robot to vehicle and then you have how to attach the trailer and here this is how you get the combined mode so, or the, well, there's the army truck mode and then the combine mode. So, yeah, it's, it's not the easiest thing to do, um, especially not on camera. And since I will never transform those again after they're combined, I will do the transformation. So, yeah, bear with me. He looks good. I mean, I love the, the, the size of this figure. Uh, it's pretty neat. Uh, accessories, you have those ca the cannons, that's gonna go on the, I think, the back. These two things are problematic, I have to say, because they're on a kind of 5 millimeter peg, and they're supposed to go in his hand, right? But because of the size and the placement of the hand, uh, and the wrist, uh, and there's a... You see here, there's a little uh, dent in the arm uh, in the the inside of the the hand and i'm guessing that's supposed to make it stick but it makes it impossible to easily place this because they're not it's too tight so i have to go off camera and put the guns in but they do have an option where you can put a peg here and just give him wrist cannons and if you want to you know the easy way out that works but it's not ideal and, and it's a huge, huge guns too. And he's the only one who didn't come with uh, other smaller guns from what I can get uh, because I, you know, didn't get the box. I got it from, I got this from AliExpress, didn't get the box because I saved $20 on the price if I got the no box option. So you have that option for the guns and then they combine uh, so that you can get your um, artillery thing. Uh, and it's a good solid peg so there you go and basically you put those um, 
Well, I thought they were gonna go here, because the original toy, you know, you had the trailer, and it shot, and that was it. Uh, but this, they went with putting it here, on top. So it's, uh, and then you can actually put it uh, on the truck itself, so it's kind of weird. Uh, this accessory you're gonna use, well actually you can use it, you can plug it here, that's what they tell you to do when you want to do the combined uh, mode uh, for the artillery truck mode uh, so it goes on the inside here anyway uh, on the actual bot but it's the chest plate you know and there's even a place for Decepticon logo so I have a couple of those that I've been eager to place so yeah you have the trailer uh, which will become the pants and it looks good but like I said I wish you could plug the artillery here so that you could have a better G1 representation. Even if this guy doesn't look anything like G1. Well, not that he doesn't look anything like G1. It's just a very stylized version. But it's a nice trailer and he rolls fine. Not, no rubber. Uh, but it, they're all the same pegs. So that's always a bonus. Oh yeah. I like this. But he takes a lot of place. So I'm going to remove it for now. And do Onslaught. Onslaught looks good. I mean, nice head sculpt. It's all colored plastic. I think there's very little paint. You'll have paint here, a uh, little bit here and here, uh, but all the purple, the black, uh, the tan, and the, I, I don't know, gunmetal, maybe. It's it's all, or just brown. It's just plastic. The silver is painted. Um, you have a bit of the details here that are painted. And yeah. You have, oh yeah, those are accessories that are removable. Um, little uh, side cannons. And you'll actually place them somewhere else in uh, the uh, uh, truck mode. So, yeah. They, and oh yeah, there's more accessories here. Uh, gray plastic with gunmetal. So, yeah. And in the back, he cleans up actually really nice. There's no waffle, no holes except here for the hands. I don't know why, because the hands don't... Oh, actually, yeah, it opens up and yeah, and okay. So the hands is going to go on the inside of that waffle later. And uh, plastic wheels. But everything cleans up super nice. And then here you can see the Bruticus head. So that's pretty neat. And they when they put him in uh, truck mode, the, this head goes inside that bigger head. So it's well thought of. Oh, sorry. And it, it kind of cleans up nice. You know, you don't see the head unless you're looking for it. Massive shoulders, you know. But it works. No, I like it. Very well. We will obey you for now. Uh, for articulation, you do have a rotation at the head. Uh, looks up because of transformation looks well you can't even see it look down because of the shoulder guard uh, you have you don't have much of a movement um, outside I mean yeah you could if you move it there you go but you have to move everything to be able to get that uh, that look uh, the wheels do peg you have your full ferris wheel and you have a rotation underneath. You have a very hindered. Well, okay, the elbow is gonna go up to here and then back this. And then you have your rotation at the hand, no back and forward, but you do have the four fingers that open up together. You have a full merry-go-round, no problem there. No hab crunch. Uh, but you do have a nice ratcheted kick back. If you lift this up, you have a nice ratcheted kick forward. No problem there. You do have a... And uh, you have a very limited knee bend. You have a rotation at the tight joint. Uh, and you have a... Well, yeah, it's independent. And the feet are loose. Not loose, like when I move them, they're okay. Like they stay together. They don't fall down or anything. But when you try to place him, the heel always goes back up. So that's annoying. But you do have 
because of that you have a very poseable uh, toe and heel and then you have two different uh, rocker for the ankle so yeah very nicely articulated and I know this is a knockoff of something else yeah this pops off once in a while so you do have a nice uh, a nice robot I know that there are knockoffs of uh, another company uh, the Warbotrons uh, I'm not gonna research that don't care so there you go and now I'm able to stand him but if you want him to look up a little more sometimes he's just gonna fall backwards so that's slightly annoying all right Let's remove the accessories. I'll just do, because I do transformation and this is masterpiece, it's gonna take me a while. So I'm just gonna do one comparison. Nope, this way. Um, let's put him on the side and let's sh see. Now he wants to go forward. So you have to play with the feet again. So individually, I wouldn't, you know, display them. I Like they would be in either alt mode or Bruticus mode, that's it. Cause you can't, you don't want to just wait for your figures to just randomly fall down so all right so here's a quick comparison with an actual masterpiece sunstreaker actually the, an actual ko masterpiece sunstreaker so this is a huge difference so i'm guessing this is even a little more than masterpiece uh but he's the tallest of the five so we'll see thanks vortex i could use a little target practice let's transform him i'm gonna regret this but i know people will probably appreciate that so for the sake to save me some trouble here's the instruction in the back and we're gonna try to follow those uh on camera so first thing they say to open this up you do have to open this up and what you do is you lift the head and then place open it up a little bit clip this the back in put it back down and close it back again so that's how you get the head hop off off why am i adding an h to everything today uh you do kind of the same thing with the arms um open it up and close the fist put it back in close it back down there you go after that, oh, that's just the arms. Okay, so then after that, you rotate them so that they go this way. No, nope, the other way. No, no, I'm pretty sure it's this way. All right. Oh yeah, you have to remove this piece here and this piece here because they're gonna go somewhere else in the alt mode. rotate the waist then you want to take this piece you lift the whole cab or the whole chest is going to become the cab and then you take the arms and the shoulders and you clip it all the way here okay sorry about that um, I don't know why, but mine cab wouldn't match the instruction. On the instruction, they show that these two things are supposed to be lined up. And I can't line them up to have this form. Uh, but if I angle it a little bit, it works fine. So now, and it's even solid now, like it's not moving. And then after that... Um, you have these flaps here that are gonna do the uh, the whole uh, wheel cover uh you have your little mirror but this piece here it's supposed to go on the interior of this piece here so you there's no other way you have to force it in and then everything clips in and then after that you do the same thing on the other side there you go so you have your whole front end uh Kind of working okay i don't know i think this is gonna rub on the ground when this rolls but this part here but we'll see okay so and then yeah so we did this all right the wheels uh, the legs you want to push forward all 
and then clip them together. Again, another fun thing to line up. Oh. All right, this is misaligned. Come on, man. There you go. And is there a clip? Are they supposed to clip? They have to. That's right, they don't clip. You, you just push them in so they just sit there and then you close this and that's gonna offer you the stability you'll need for later. And then make sure to line up the horn of Bruticus here, the black thing, with that hole here so that it doesn't uh, hinder anything. And there you go. This is a little loose. Okay, so these go down like this. And then you take these and you put them on top. You want to move this like this. And like this. And then the feet, he's going to go on the other side. Oh, wait. Yeah, this lifts. This lifts. Close it back down. Close it back down. And that's your truck mode. Looks great. I mean, it's, yeah, sure, it's a paint to assemble. Uh, transformation isn't uh, that smooth. But this is a fantastic looking truck. I like that. I mean, you can see a bit of a gap here. Uh, there you go. You can see all the way to the other side. But I think that might just be me with my funky transformation. No, I think it works. The no, this worked. Yeah, okay. So we're good. Anyway, from what I get right now. So we'll do the um, fully assembled. Uh, man, do I have enough space for that? So basically what they tell you to do is... Sorry, I'm trying to do the best I can. You need this. You need the gun. So I'm going to move them on the side because now you need this thing here. So basically... You have two pegs here and uh, two peg holes here and two pegs here. So you want to line this up like that. Of course, on camera, it adds 10 step. There you go. And it kind of just sits there. That's the only peg you'll have. All right. And then this. Now, this, it's annoying because this it always moves, right? So. Because when you push, it's going to want to move forward. See? And on camera, it's worse. Hold on. There you go. But the thing is that there's no articulation. It doesn't go back and forth. It doesn't go up and down much. Uh, so that's too bad. Oh, forgot to put this in. So you have a little peg right there. And you have this peg here. And they tell you just to put it like that and lift them up that's it I find that weird so I'm gonna go with my original idea well not idea but I can't do anything about it but I would have put two pegs here and put this gun here so that it you know like the G1 toy and, and now to get all of this into Bruticus mode because I'm gonna do that here to do the Bruticus mode because I really don't want to do all the transformation for the limbs during the Bruticus video because that's going to take forever. Although this is going to take a while too. So, all right, let's remove this and this and this. Actually, well, let's do the pants. So, pants are easy to do. You take this here, you lift. So, you get your pegs from here. Then... You want to flap this back down. You have two holes here, two pegs. Go ahead and clip it. You want to open this up. Plug it. Put it back down. Open up the wings of the belt. And then you... One at a time. Oh, wait. Yeah, you have to... Huh. Oh, no, okay, you have to lift this piece here, put this here, put it back down, 
and it's gonna feel like it doesn't work because you have to do this first and then after that it holds perfectly it's kind of weird but it works so that's the pants there you go nice pants gonna remove this all right so you take this and you open this up and then you flap it back down open this up and lift the head I have to say that I don't recall that big horn on top of his head, but that could be me. Um, and you, you, you just close it back down, yeah. Oh no, okay, you f close it like that. There you go. Nice clean look. Take these out. Oh, not this. This. Uh, leave them like that. They're gonna fall down anyway. So after that, they say to take this and push it down. Put this back up. So you're basically pu putting him back in half robot, I guess. All right. Just like that. What are these things? Okay, hold on. This, this is the back. Oh. Ah, okay. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Wow, that's gonna be fun. You have to take, so these are, there's a mushroom peg here that you wanna plug on the back here. So I'm gonna, I can't move this peg there. Okay, all right, well, there you go. That's gonna give it extra stability when, hold on, this is misplaced. There you go. Man, this is a tight joint. What am I doing different? I'm not doing anything different. All right, so it's just, uh, there you go. All right, so you have this. So you turn it around. And then there's a peg here and a peg here. So that's gonna hold a little better. There you go. And uh, what do we have here? Doo -doo -doo, turn it around. Clip these in. Okay, I must have misread like this. Basically, I thought they were telling me to peg it back. But basically, they're just telling me to put it like this. And then it's a double band. So you unclip this here, but also you put these thing back and then it's gonna go in the back like that. Kinda looks a little weird, but that means he's gonna be like super back heavy. Now, there you go. That's how you line them up, apparently. Now, once you have that, they tell you to put the gun in and, uh, oh wait, no, the pants first. Yeah, that makes sense. So, the pants, you have two holes here. And you're gonna shove it here. There's nothing to peg, there's a peg here that won't do anything now. That's too bad, I would have liked to have the extra stability, but you know what? Yeah, very stable anyway. And it really, it's all gonna come down to the legs, right? And these are pretty solid. The articulation is tight. Uh, so yeah, I think this is gonna work. So, all right, after that, you take the gun and you put it in the back. Nope. It's not large enough. What am I doing wrong? Oh, it's because it's those two pegs here. So those two pegs here go, yeah, there you go. 
Oh man, he's gonna be super back heavy. And then the chest piece. Thank you for falling. You have a peg here, a peg hole and a peg. And then you have two slots that don't really line up. Hmm. Do they? Uh, this is supposed to be higher. I probably missed a step. Ah. Unless you don't use that peg. Ah, that's probably it. There you go. You don't use the peg because that's the peg that you used for the other mode. And now you have those two flaps here. So I guess you could have this way or this way. Yeah. Doesn't really matter. Oh, there you go. That's the main body of Bruticus. All right. I'm going to stop this right here because this was way too long already. And, uh, but I can't wait to have this guy on my shelf. Uh, the arms sticking out, maybe I'll just, yeah, try to hide them. Or maybe I'll do what I did with Devastator and unscrew something and, you know, remove part of the back. But then I would lose the gun. So, We'll see how I want to play it. All right, so there you go. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this review. If you did, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Also, leave a comment. Love reading those. Keep coming back. I have more on the way. And remember, nothing in life gives you a right to be an asshole. Take care.